Hi, my name is Mike, and I happen to be a blues guitar player. Now, to give you some context behind some of those repeating pentatonic licks that you just heard, I have been a lover of the blues for eight or nine years. But, interestingly enough, it wasn't necessarily love at first sight. You see, nowadays, I love my Mayers, my Claptons, my Gary Clarks, my Albert King, Freddie King. We can go as deep into the blues stratosphere as you want to and geek out. But the first time I really listened to the blues was after about six or seven months of playing the acoustic guitar. And to be completely honest, I didn't really like it, right? I thought it was kind of corny old people music. I didn't like the 12 bar stuff. I just wanted to play the acoustic. Even at one point I told my roommate who was teaching me how to play the guitar, I'm just gonna stick with the acoustic. I don't really even wanna use a pick. I just want a finger pick. But how things would change. As soon as I started doing the deep dive on some of those artists that I just told you about and really doing the research, I started to love the blues. Love it so much, in fact, that it became the main genre that I wanted to play and hopefully one day master. And that seems like a weird pattern with all of the genres and different styles of guitar that I've picked up over the years and started to love. Initially, I hate it. And then I get to a point where I'm like, let me give this one more chance. And then I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I love this now. So I always have to kind of second guess myself and take it with a grain of salt when I actively say that I don't like something. And the same goes for country music. Growing up, I really hated country music. When people ask me, what kind of music do you play? What kind of music do you like? I would say, I like every type of music other than country and metal. Those are the two that I don't go with at all. And then I started listening to Keith Urban. And then I started listening to Brad Paisley. And I noticed that they were kind of two of the best guitar players that I'd ever heard in my life. But I was like, I still want nothing to do with this country music. I said, I'm gonna appreciate this, but I don't like it. But then I started listening more and more. And I was like, man, it'd be cool to incorporate some of those licks. And I said, man, it would be cool to one day be able to maybe write a country song. And so I bought my first Telecaster and slowly but surely, just like with the blues, I started to appreciate what was really going on with country guitar playing and to see where I could kind of mend it with some of my other styles of playing. Then I even got into different avenues like pop country. And I started to even want to make that and like that a little bit too. And the final nail in the coffin actually happened when my friend Daniel came over. And Daniel's an incredible guitar player. I hope to be as good as he is one day. And he walks in the door, he turns to me, he says, Mike, we're making a country track today. And I said, brother, let's do this thing right now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're trying to make country music and like as bro country as like this is the type of song we're trying to make because like I can't get any dates right now so we have to write a bro country song to make like the girls just flock through so let's see how this goes so what do we got so far we um we have a progression in Martin G. this is my baby right here my 2016 Martin OM28 I believe this is the reimagined series <laughs> We're gonna try and get like three passes, see how it goes, see how this sounds. Maybe do one left and right, maybe do one in the middle. I don't know, it's bro country, so. Sorry. We are the new Dan and Shay, except for Mike and Dan. Mike and Dan, we're Dan and Mike. You hear that? All right, so we gotta have a line about the girl with blue eyes. We gotta have a line about whiskey. Oh yeah, how you hear, it's already, it's already, like, it's already there. It's already there, just that little thing. No need to shave. I want something about shaving in there. Oh, oh, oh. I got my fishing rod and whiskey sitting on the lake. Bro, this song gonna be a banger, dude. What if, what if she saw it? <laughs> Daniel went outside to talk to his girlfriend. I'm about to steal this song. Yeah, yeah. Got my fishing rod and I'm sitting on the lake. Killing time, but I ain't got nothing to get a shake. Just, yeah. I got time on my hands since you've been away. Got my fishing rod and I'm sitting on the lake. We put a we put a tambourine in this and it just like it's it's starting to hit. It's literally starting to hit, right, Phil? That's heat. That's heat. Morgan Wallen. 
Hit me up. <laughs> All right, so Daniel has gone, and now I have to finish mixing it, and I have to finish the rest of the guitar work, and I don't really know if there's going to be a solo or what even we're going to do. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. <laughs> Daniel's back. It's done. It's mixed. It's game over. Was there anything you'd like to say to Morgan Wallen? Um, listen, man, if you would cut our song, it would make me very, it would make my heart very happy. I also, I would also like to add that we're better than you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't want to just add a little bit of something? Like, just a little. Any last words for the country music industry before they see our video? Um, just know that whatever happens, after this song, I only had good intentions in my heart for the industry. Now, I, I don't know. Do you want to... I don't know if you want to hear the full song. I don't know if it's ready. You know, let, let me just show you. our country track. I think it's called Blue Eyes, maybe? If you want to check out the link to the full song, I will put it on Spotify. The link is in the description. Make sure to check it out. I do really appreciate it, and I, I'm starting to really like country music. It is cool to be able to experiment with different styles, styles that I thought that I would never like or never love in the first place, and to see just where that's taken me over the years. Tell me what styles, as a guitar player, you've come around to. Like, what thing did you swear you'd never love, and then once you took the deep dive, you were like, man, I really love this type of music. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, make sure to subscribe. And most important of all, have a fantastic day.